Hello, my name is Dr. Rob Young. I'm a performance psychologist and a coach at a consultancy called Talent Space. And I'd like to talk to you about the skill of self-presentation, which is the ability to improve the impression that you make on other people. Now, this is an especially important skill when you're meeting new, important people for the first time. And also when you meet with important people on an only infrequent basis. Uh, because I'm sure you can imagine when you go into a job interview, then you really need to make a strong impact in only a short amount of time. But also when you're dealing with valued customers or clients that you don't see very often, you want to make a very positive impression. Now, a lot of people make mistakes in terms of their self-presentation and end up coming across as bragging or boastful. And this is because they haven't understood what clients or customers are looking for. So something you can do to make a better impression is to use the skill of empathy. However, it turns out that there are actually two distinct types of empathy. So on the one hand, we have something called cognitive empathy, also called perspective taking, which is the skill of understanding what someone's goals and objectives might be. So this is a cool-headed, rational and logical skill to use, trying to figure out what does this person want from the situation and what can I do to deliver a great result. The other type of empathy is something called emotional empathy. But it's not just about understanding someone else's emotional state, whether that's anxiety or annoyance, boredom or enthusiasm. But it's actually trying to experience their level of emotion to some degree, trying to simulate it within yourself to a, to a small degree. Now, research shows that these two types of empathy may have slightly different consequences. For example, cognitive empathy may be slightly more useful in one-off encounters. For example, when you're trying to negotiate with someone and you're trying to win and get the best deal. Whereas emotional empathy may be slightly more useful in ongoing situations. For example, when you're trying to build a long-term rapport with people. But there's no reason you can't use both. For example, before a job interview or an interview, uh, before a job interview or a client meeting, you could perhaps take five minutes to write down what you think a client's goals and objectives might be and also to spend a few seconds trying to understand, well, what might they be feeling and trying to experience that for a second within yourself. Now, so that's something you can do before the meeting and during the meeting, you can make a better impression by adhering to one important principle. Now, during meetings, you quite often have to talk about your successes and projects. Clearly, during a job interview, you need to talk about the contributions you made to work and to talk about your skills. Or even with a client or a customer, you sometimes have to talk about previous projects that have gone well. And the principle is this, to make sure that you imply that your successes and strengths come down to hard work and effort rather than talent or natural gifts. Because research shows that audiences tend to respond far less favorably when people talk about having certain natural talents and gifts, when they use phrases such as, well, I've always been naturally good at this, or that's something that I'm just naturally gifted at. So to summarize then, make sure that when you're talking about things, whether it's a project that you've completed or skills such as your problem solving or your knack with spreadsheets or just about anything else, talk about the effort you put into acquiring that skill or the steps you took to make it a success rather than implying that it was down to gifts or talent. But also just to summarize, remember that before a meeting, you can also use the two different types of empathy. So use cognitive empathy to understand someone's goals and objectives but then also use emotional empathy to build a connection with someone on a human level too.